take two. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I am going to do a review on Dr. Prager's veggie patties, and I think they're actually called Organic California Veggie Burgers, and it looks exactly like a veggie burger on the picture. Um, when I first tried these, I cooked them on a skillet, and I will admit I didn't prefer that method, which is exactly why I'm going to do this video, because I want you guys to be able to enjoy these as much as we do. And so in order to enjoy them, you have to cook them properly. Um, this veggie patty, it's got carrots, zucchini peas, and spinach, and um, it's 190 calories per serving. It's cute their little saying on the on the box says golden gate on a plate which i think is like super cute um it says recognizable ingredients which they are all recognizable there was not anything on it that i could not pronounce which is fantastic so um again 190 calories it's really delicious and um you know fulfilling so it's a really this is a really good veggie patty and i've also tried their burger and um, I ate them all, so I can't go on that right now. But um, anyways, so when you pull them out, they are frozen. And what you do is you just open them up. And my preferred method, I've tried all of these. Um, they say cook it frozen, of course. But then it says you could cook it in the oven or toaster oven, um, the skillet or microwave. Um, the thing that I didn't like about the oven or toaster um I tried it in the oven and it just felt like it took forever like I had to wait for the oven to preheat and then I kind of had to like I felt like I had to keep my eye on it which makes no sense because honestly the hot air fryer in the oven takes the same amount of time um, but when I got it out of the oven it didn't come out the consistency or texture that I would prefer a burger has and I get it it's a veggie burger so if you're a vegetarian or you eat a lot of these veggie burgers you know you're not gonna get the firm firm texture every time it's kind of like a given but I want it to at least be sensible enough that I could add toppings I could put it on bread and when it came out of the oven I couldn't do that um, I also tried it on the skillet and the skillet was awful it came out the consistency of like refried beans and it says flip fry for six minutes and then flip I couldn't even flip it like literally I put the spatula under and it just fell all underneath there um, and then the microwave, which is not really the preferable method to pick anything, uh, but I did try it, and again, it was not flipping. So I was like, something has got to give, Dr. Prager. We're going to make this good. So we did. And the thing that I like about this is a lot of the vegan foods or vegetarian foods that I try, I do have to add seasonings to there and I don't mind but um it is something that I have to do so uh this one the, the only I don't have to add anything to it but if I want to make it extra yummy I do add a little bit of bad ingredient I put um and don't judge me season all on there but it tastes good it's just seasoned salt um you could just do regular salt and pepper paprika um i don't know my mother-in-law turned me on to season all i never used to eat it before but she always had it in her kitchen so i grabbed it so anyways that's what i'm gonna sprinkle on my patty today so i have um one going you just take it out of the wrapper frozen and i'm gonna put mine in the hot air fryer so i suggest that is a cooking method that you want to do it in it comes out crispy and just delicious so Here's my hot air fryer. Um, it's just a standard one. I have it on 350 and I put it in there for 10 to 12 minutes. Then I take it out and I redo it. You guys saw my box that I have. <laughs> I have my camera on. So anyways, I will get back to you guys as soon as I am done with my burger. All right, so the patty is done it looks so yummy I don't know how to show it to you I'll pick it up on the napkin there it is I don't know if it looks burnt from this picture but it's not burnt um, 
Anyways, there it is. It makes for a yummy patty to put on a sandwich. I normally, it's so yummy that I normally just put some mustard on it with a pickle and I eat it just like that. You could also top your salad with it. But I just want to do this before my camera shuts off. Like you can hear the crispy crunchy of it all. Like, um, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but super yummy.